Uncle Mud here with a little follow-up work on our rocket mass heater in the basement of Gracie's Wellness Center here in Northeast Ohio. We're doing a cleaning. It's late August and we're getting ready for heating season coming up. It's been two heating seasons now since we built this rocket heater in the basement. It's been doing a lovely job of keeping this uh, two-story plus basement uh, 6,000 square foot building uh, heated. The floors being warm, they say, makes a huge difference in how lovely it is to be here. Um, the uh, So we're cleaning out the stratification chamber here. We got a little bit of soot in there from uh, a couple years of running it. We've got um, a clean chimney. No creosote built up in there. We looked in. Uh, we're going to take it off again here in the cleaning process and just make sure we don't have anything building up in there. We did have a couple of cracked bricks, three cracked bricks that I'm fixing that we knew about last year. From It got run too hot early on and cracked these fire brick and took a big chunk out of the, the brick that goes right there. Uh, just fell apart, you can see it right here. So we're cutting a new brick. We're cutting a couple of new brick for the top of the burn tunnel. Um, this is interesting. This is that insulated kiln brick. And in addition to the crack that it has in the middle here, uh, it broke in half. In addition to that, we've also got some erosion on the, the, so that actually fits in like this. And, um, that's the top of the, uh, burn chamber. So it's got a crack in it, but it's also got a little bit of erosion from those hot gases whipping through there. So that's pretty impressive. It gets up to about 900 degrees here on the outside and a lot, lot hotter on the inside. Uh, and very comfortable sitting on this bench um, and warming the floor around it. So we're going to take and rebuild. We're gonna cut new brick here and rebuild this uh, heater and clean it all out. Uh, there's a very little bit of ash inside of the burn chamber. Mm, opened it up, there's nothing in here. The, the, uh, the ash is very minimal. Got a little bit of soot we're gonna clean out from there. From these two clean outs on the ends, we've got a very useful high filtration chimney vacuum that is going to help us clean this out. But we're going to come outside first so we don't make too big of a mess. Here's this lovely scrap wood we use to heat. This is the same stuff I use for my house um, to heat. This is uh, flooring cutoffs from the... Um, from the hardwood flooring manufacturer uh, over by my house. Now they'll bring a uh, double axle dump truck load, about three cords. They charge a hundred bucks for it. So having to spend relatively little on wood is a lovely thing here. So I'm getting ready to cut a new brick to replace this one. And you see they've got this little groove that helps keep our bricks together. I'll show, do another video uh, later as I'm putting the uh, feed tube back together uh, and we'll uh, uh, see how it goes together as I cut after I cut another groove out of there. Uh, more to come soon, but I thought people might be interested in a follow-up. Uh, we did videos on this rocket heater as we were building it and then after it had been fired for a year and uh, now we're getting ready to clean it after its second year of burn and uh, repair, replace this brick that uh, 
that broke um, from it just being too hot in there. We might, if we keep coming back and finding that brick broken, because it didn't, uh, had a chunk of it fall out, but it didn't affect the performance of the heater. But we do want to see if maybe we need to uh, um, pull a row or two of bricks out of the uh, heat riser to uh, slow it down a little. So we've got a 40 foot tall insulated chimney that you can see here. We ran an insulated liner down the inside of that uh, masonry chimney. Um, so we've got a lot of draft and it just might be burning too hot, but we're swapping out a brick. Let's see if maybe we just got a faulty brick earlier on some and uh, uh, but we did burn it pretty hot and we're gonna see if it can be made to continue to burn hot because we like hot to an extent but not break all of our bricks hot so watch for more unclemud.com